Hi everyone and welcome back to Diamond Paintings with Mike. I thought I'd do this quick little video um, about the of, uh, storage trays that I've been talking about. And as some of you know, I've been uh, wanting to get a bigger version um, that holds, you know, more tiers. And I came across this, this was, I think it was roughly £18. And I got it uh, next day delivery on Amazon. Now, as you can see, first things first I'm noticing is it's lovely, well uh, packed. And again, I will use that for upcycling. And obviously, it's fairly straightforward, but the installation steps are there. And as you can see, there are six types of planks, 12 planks in total. Please contact us if any are missing. And basically, it just assembles into something that looks like that. Very straightforward. And uh, yeah, so this is the little um, package that we've got here today. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty well presented, uh, lovely, uh, well protected as well. So uh, much better than the last one I got. The last one I got was in like a cellophane bag. Um, so this, they've really done a good job on this. Um, so I really like this. Um, so yeah, I haven't done a video like this before, but it's, I thought, well, it's diamond paint related, so I can. Because obviously this channel is about diamond painting only. So uh, yeah, let's try and get through a bit there. So yeah. Oh gosh, I've made a terrible mess of this. <laughs> um, oh blimey, I've made a quite right mess up. Um, but, oh yeah, that's lovely. It actually feels, oh yeah. Oh wow, that's heavy duty. That's much more thicker uh, than my other one. So that's interesting. This feels really heavy duty. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Uh, these are the rings that uh, obviously um, keeps it all in, you know, connected and stuff like that. Um, so we'll get the little parts there. So these are the, obviously the wooden slats there. And I can feel something else a little bit further down. Oh my God. Oh wow, oh my God, what the hell? Oh wow, okay, that's a complete shock. I didn't expect these to have all these trays, but look, oh my God, I've got so many white trays. Oh, you beauty. Oh my God, my last one never had that. Oh yeah. Right, this is well worth the money here. You know, that's fantastic that they've included these white trays. I'm always telling you how much I love these white trays because one, obviously these ones don't have the little spout at the end, but it doesn't matter. But they're much more wider um, than the little green ones that are like that. So these work a treat. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get another one of these, I think. <laughs> so first things first is you wanna start off with, obviously these are the plats. Uh, that we've got so we've got one two three four five um that's six or seven there and first things first you'll notice that these they've got all these slats in and the first thing that we need to do these little rings will hold it into position so uh yeah basically what will happen is these little rings if I just take that down a smidge but you can see that these little rings are going to be what holds it near enough all, all intact so uh, my hands ain't working here today they're just too tired been up since seven o'clock so uh, long day it's been um, now that will include some spares but first thing what you want to do is you want to connect it so you've got this part here Okay, and that's going to go into the back of the wall. So we're going to put that onto there like that. Might lift the camera up a bit so you can see a bit more. And then obviously we'll put the other end on as well. And you can see then what happens is this little rubber ring is quite flexible. And what's going to happen is you put it over the top of here, put it back and then, it's because it's not all the way on, but basically, Put it like that and as you can see that holds that all lovely in into position so once we've done that we're going to do exactly the same with um, the other one 
as I said, I've done so many of these, I don't really need the instructions as such. Um, and then once we've done that, you can see that we've got, these are where these come in. Now you can either pull it that way, so you've got the um, circles here. These are for your light pens, or you can do it that way and have it at the other end. Personally, I like to have mine at the other end and basically you slot that through there and then you see these two parts here, they will fit into the two parts that we've got slotted there. So near enough, you'll slot it down there, whoops, wrong way. You'll slot it down there all the way through and then that will slot into there like so. Turn it upside down and then what you can do is just put that over the top like that and that over the top like that. Now obviously we've got to do this several times so um, you might want to uh, you know, rewind, uh, fast forward it a bit. Um, I've just noticed something actually, I'll tell you in a minute. And one thing I'm noticing here is it's not giving you that much room. It's a very tight slot, but yeah, that's, uh, I've just realized as well, I've made a little mistake. I'll tell you why, because we need to put these slots in as well. So let me just sort that out. What happens is before we do that, these, slot into the back of here. So you see these big parts here, that will slot into this wooden one and it will slot like that. And then obviously that's where you put it in. Now obviously we've got three of these, so we'll put that one in as well. And we'll put it in as well, that way, like that. Okay, so theoretically you've got something that looks like that. And then that will go up the back. And that's basically what creates your little shelf there. So now that we've got them assembled, we can tip that upside down and then just correct that slightly. But yeah, these, as you can see, offers one, two, three, four, five, about six tiers. So this one will be basically used for like uh, the paintings that have like 20, sim 20 colors or, you know, stuff like that really. Um, and then turn it up. Whoops, it fell out slightly, I think. I absolutely love these, and I uh, have to say, this is my biggest one that I've got yet. So, as I said, we have to do this several times, so you may want to rewind, uh, but sorry, fast forward this section. Um, there we go. Ah, it's actually widened that up a bit now. You see it's a much bigger slot. Oh, right, okay, cool. Yeah, these are brilliant. What these also allow me to do is it's not just storing the paintings. It means that I don't have to, before, when I did like another painting, I had to uh, keep packing them away and putting them all up. Um, but, and then I had like trays everywhere. So, what's happened here? So yeah, I had all these different, I think that's probably the bottom one, that's why. So yeah, I had all these different, no, that is right. This one, for some reason, doesn't have a hole in it, so it's a bit weird. But yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so I had all these different trays everywhere, and I didn't really have nowhere to store it. But what this allows me to do is it means that I can keep them all set up in this, um, in this little block thing so it's so much nicer and then obviously that one goes down there like that whoops and then we flip it over and then that one goes onto there and then just get another one you will have spare of these as well so uh, of the rings i feel like i'm doing like a kiwico thing if you check online there's a company called kiwico and they do all these like uh you can make guitars and all that sort of thing this is obviously the bottom one because as you can see um it's gonna feed into it doesn't go in these slots it feeds into these two just here so that's gonna go down there um, and then you might have to bend it out slightly because the slot. Okay, that's 
the other way. You can see it's a little bit, because we have to fit the slot in that side there. And then if we just give it a little bit of a jiggle, then it will all fit together nicely. And then what we can do, we'll just put this ring on the end of that. This is lovely material. It's lovely and shiny. And then obviously this one here will go into, uh, we've got one on there, got one on there. So it must be this one here. And then obviously we put the last two onto these holes here. And then the next one there. Now, as you can see from the difference, we've got a hell of a lot more slots compared to this one here. So you can see that this is, um, it's not got that many slots. Also, if you notice, this is a much more thinner, this is more thinner. Uh, wood compared to that so this is more chunkier which means it's more sturdier so yeah the idea is as you can see I've got one there so for example as you can see I've got quite a few of these now but as you can see the idea is is that I can set all the paintings up and then I can keep them like that so I know exactly what trays what um you know, the smaller tiers will be for the six ones and then the, the bigger ones will be for, you know, like the larger paintings that have more symbols. I will also be phasing these ones out, the six ones, because obviously this obviously holds a lot more than this one here, which you can see. So this one offers a lot more uh, drill hole things. Um, and let's just have a look how many it holds. So we've got one, and obviously the top shelf as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And I've lost where I was. One, two, three. So let's do it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That gives you eighteen slots. But remember, you're going to have pens in this section here. If we was to include them, you don't have to have pens. You could use this section as an extra sort of tray section, if you like. But if we included them, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So if you've got 24 drills, that's beautiful. So all that's left to do is to put these little trays on, as you can see. So we'll put these little trays on. I'm so happy. I didn't even know they had these, but they may fall off, but it is what it is. And then basically, you put them down there. So it's like a little miniature pigeon hole. A pigeon hole um, is what we, in the UK, it's known as like a mailbox. So where people, like this, for example, would be a pigeon hole and they'll put people's mail in it. So like letters. And then when they go into work, they will pick their letters out, uh, etc. But I am totally... I when I order things, I don't tend to read the description. I just go in and order it by the picture. But I didn't expect to receive trays as well. So for 20 quid, I think it, was, it must have been about £18. But I'll put the link to this uh, where I got it in the description. Um, so you guys can buy it if you want. But yeah, for that price, including the trays, I think that's a winner winner chicken dinner. Um which is absolutely brilliant. And then what you can do is obviously here, you can put your diamond painting pen. By the way, if you look at one of my bus videos uh, for the diamond paint in the very first video that I did, I have put the link for these in there uh, so you can get them. So you've got your pens in there. You can put like your wax on the top as well. That is a really, really lovely, lovely um, thing. And as you can see, if I was to put the tray in, doesn't all go right through because you've got the pen there but yeah that's fantastic i can now get rid of my green trays so i'll kit these up uh, what the idea is is obviously once we've got a full palette of white trays i will then discontinue the green ones so um now i've got three of these white ones i'll chuck three of the green ones away but yeah that is beautiful absolutely money well spent i'm really happy with that and yeah, brilliant. Hope you like that video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Take care. Bye-bye.